Hello guys, welcome to another tip of the day. I am Baba Jide Ojo. Now today I want to talk to fresh graduates or undergraduates who might not have a lot of research or teaching experience that might make them competitive for the admission process. Now, um, the common theme that I've seen so far is for uh, you guys to apply for a master's then eventually go for a PhD. But I want to say to you today, if you are very qualified, if you have a high GPA or you have a very high GRE or TOEFL scores, you might apply directly for a PhD if you are or you will be interested in a PhD sometime in the future. And the reason I'm saying this is um, that most of the time, professors love to you know, take up PhD students because of the fact that this set of students will be with them for a longer time than a master's student. And because quality research takes time, that gives you a competitive edge with a particular professor. And even if you cannot apply to a PhD position um, straight away after your undergraduate a degree, what you should do when you are contacting a professor is to give a hint that you will be interested in a PhD position sometime after your, uh, immediately after your master's degree, which uh, uh, that could also, you know, help you get in the good books of a particular professor, just in case uh, the professor has funds and would want to take up a student. So don't forget to indicate or give a hint that you're interested in a PhD if you are interested in a PhD, but I don't want you to lie. If you are not interested in a PhD, if you would never be interested in a PhD, just apply for your master's um, degree because you would eventually need your advisor after the master's degree to write very good recommendations for you. So don't lie up front if you know you would eventually not go for a PhD. But if you are interested, then hint that you will get a PhD after your master's degree. That would make a professor happy if they have the funds to take you up. So that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to review the information on YouTube and also some information on this Instagram page. If you have any questions, then if you have anything you would need me to clarify, please ask questions either in the comment section or in my inbox but please make sure you review the videos before coming to ask questions just to make it easier on ourselves and don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and also like our facebook page and if you have not followed our instagram page please do that as well till next time i am baba jide and i'll see you in the next video